Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigator and this is a market update for Tuesday, June 28, 2022. So we have only two more days uh, before the end of the second quarter. So the market is still uh, very choppy as you can see here. So last time on May 22nd, the market found the support. They put up right into the upper uh, parallel channel here. And this time they found a support at below and then they put it back up. However, they didn't get back to the top here, so they pulled back down. But uh, sound like, you know, it looked like it's very weak on the way to go up. However, the market, that if they be able to file the support in this level here, in the next couple of days, we still have a chance for the breakout of this downtrend line here. That if they be able to build up this momentum, and push it up to the upside. If they fail the hole up here, we still have a chance to come back and retest the bottom. So let's see how the market lay out. I do uh, think that the market do have some momentum to push it up to the upside, but uh, watch out for the uh, support level right here. So if you uh, look at the uh, NQ, which is the technology top, they are still uh, very uh, choppy. They come back up couldn't make it higher, they pull back down so they have a strong support in this level here you can see the momentum at this moment uh, we are still in the negative side so if the ES, uh, the ES you also see that we are still in the negative side here so until this one be able to uh, push it back up the upside that will help the market to be stabilized and put it up higher in the future uh, the Dow is also a drop low here as you can see we are still in the a negative side of the uh, market and and after they put it back up they come back down and we still have some support here as long as they don't drop below here we still uh, have a chance to make it another high high here uh, if you look at Russell 2000 it also go back up pull back down and uh, they still hang there let's see the next couple of days here they be able to put it back up and test it out and lie here this is the target that we are looking for. Now, if you look at the euro, it also have a trouble to break out this downtrend line here. So they are still sideways, choppy there. Um, if you look at the uh, cool oil, cool oil, it, um, they fail to make a new high here. They come back down, have a support here, they buy back up. However, they have a strong resistance here. Let's see, are they able to get back up or if they pull back up here and then they slam it down again okay so uh, they get in a choppy mode so you have to be careful um the natural gas it also uh, pulled back down pretty strong here after they run up here now they are short term they try to put it back up uh, a little bit but the momentum it shift uh, to the downside already so uh, you have to be careful on that uh if you look at the uh, the volatility index you can see that the uh, market it uh, the the big it pulled back down however today they come try to back up they retest but they still not be able to punch to it so well, technically they still have a chance to put it back down here and retest if they fail below here that will be a good sign for the market to be bottom out and put it back up but if they continue to put it back up then it means that volatility is still there uh, people do have some fear on the market. If you look at the interest rate, it also try to uh, push it up. Okay, so they come back down, they put it back up. It's a little bit choppy, but they have uh, some strong resistance here. As long as they don't pass 34 here, uh, they still put it back up and then they can draw over there. It so look like it. The whole momentum here is already done right there. Okay, so that will help the market also. Um, if you look at all the fang man top, but you can see here it's very choppy. All the technology, they put it back up, they fill up the gap here, they come back, they fill up the gap, and then they slow it down right here. So they have they put it up, fill up the up gap, coming down, fill up the down gap. So it means that it's very choppy for the technology top. Same thing here. The, the Amazon put it back up, come back down, another gap here needs to be filled. Microsoft, same thing, put it back up to resist and come back down right away. 
Google, it still uh, cannot make the hand high. They put it back down here, so so they will be sideways around. The Nvidia also uh, have a struggle to go higher. So they are still choppy. They have a a gap here. They feel today. So let's see tomorrow. They can hold on to it. Netflix is still trouble here, as you can see. Continue to have low high, low low to the downside. Tesla another failure to make it high high. So they pull back now. They still have a lot of gap here to be filled. So uh, technically, it's still sideways choppy there. Meta, Facebook also have a trouble for the backup right to resistance come back down this gap needs to be closed and let's see how they turn around but overall technology top is still very weak as you can see here with the high interest rate inflation so uh, it will take a while for them to build the bay before they can turn around Bitcoin is still a sideways choppy okay since uh, uh, April 22nd the momentum shift to the negative at this moment it's still in the downside so it will take a while for them to be able to buy here in order for them to turn to the positive side same thing like in Ethereum it's very similar it's still in the negative side right now okay so um, uh, if you if you looking for the ETF the ETF is very similar on SPY come back up Fill up this gap, come back down. They need to fill up this gap before it can move higher. The Dow also here, watch out for the gap here. Okay, so my conductor is still going down. The QQ is also push it back down also at the when it hit to the downtrend line. Okay, here IWM also similar put back down, so still have a lot of gap here to be filled. Okay, so overall 11 sector of the SP500 is still uh, sideways choppy, put it back up, right resistance, pull back down, FLC, same thing, uh, they, you know, until they be able to hold up and uh, they be able to break out the downtrend line here for momentum to get it up. Okay, energy, it, they found some support, uh, as we said, now they try to put it back up a little bit, how far they can go, this will be a level of resistance up there. Financial also failed to make a new high, right to the resistance, pull back down. Industrial, same thing, right to the resistance, pull back down. Technology, pull back down, fill up the gap there. SLP, consumer stable, still go nowhere. They put it back up, right to resistance, pull back down for the gap to be filled here. So uh, it, it will take a while for them to be able to stabilize and then make a neck move to the upside in order to 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 turn higher okay otherwise you do choppy over there utility also hit to the resistance there pull back so uh, they need to pull back before they can move on again real estate it still get trouble come back fill up the gap but cannot go higher pull back down to have a gap here to be filled xlv same thing go here right into the to the sales zone Pull back down, try to close this gap here, and let's see if, uh, what they want to do next. Okay, the XLY also uh, come back, not even fill up the gap, momentum losing. So those sectors are still uh, very weak okay, compared to the other one, as you can see. Some of them are able to fill up the gap, but some of them are very weak. It means that they still have a potential to come back and fill up the gap here also. Alright, so um, overall the market is uh, still in the downtrend as you can see. However, uh, let's see tomorrow market be able to come back up and then we will uh, test the first level here around 3900. If we can clear 3900, uh, if we can clear this one here, we can get back to the 4000 area there. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see how the market that they're going to lay out for the next couple, next couple of weeks and uh, we will go from there. So this is the time for you to uh, save your cat and uh, sum up the top they will turn around and then we'll, we'll pick and then we will let you know and then and you select the best stock in the best sector and then you can uh, trade them on the rebound. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for you today, and uh, let's see how it lay out, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.